You are not going to believe what is falling out of these cliffs on the side of the road. You can see some holes in the cliffs where things fell out of. Now there's a lot of rubble here and inside of this rubble are some pretty amazing things. But it's kind of dangerous here on the side of the road. So let's go see what the road maintenance people threw off on the other side. I just gotta navigate down this dangerous rocky cliff. Uh, hopefully I don't fall. Oh, it's slippery. Uh, be careful the next time you're climbing down these rocks. Oh, okay, made it. So all of these brownish, tannish rocks more than likely came from that brownish, tannish cliff. So what we're gonna do is find one of these rocks, crack it open and see what's inside. I bet there's a lot of cool stuff in here. Oh, look at that, right down there. Oh, look at this, look, it comes right out. This might just look like a flat rock, but it's actually a 20 million year old sea animal. Now this sea animal is actually a bay clam. It's a marine mollusk. In a way, they're related to octopus. People eat clams all the time, like steamed clams, clam chowder. And that's what this guy is. That's the same kind of animal they use for foods like that. Except the only difference for this one is that it was alive 20 million years ago. And what's crazy about these fossils is they more than likely came out of this ancient cliff. I have found tons of clams and snails that are 20 million years old that have fallen out of this cliff. It's crazy to think that the water used to be that high. It's low tide right now. During high tide, the water will come up to these rocks, but never up there past the road. That just goes to show that this area used to look so much different than it does today. I'll check this out. We have some bones laying right here. And who knows, maybe one day these will be fossils discovered by a future civilization. Now, if we found all of those clams in that one rock, imagine how many different types of animals we could find by cracking open all all of these rocks. <laughs> Oh my gosh, look at the size of this muscle right here. This thing is huge. It's as big as my hand. Look at, this is the back of it. This is where the shell hinges together and then it gets wider towards the front. And you can tell that this rock is just loaded with a huge cluster of 20 million year old mussels. Oh look, there's a little snail shell fossil. You can tell by the little swirl. Snails and mussels in this big boulder. How cool is that? 